kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part twelve of my video series on video player using Android Studio. Okay, guys. So in this video, now we can we we will continue from where we had left. So now here we were inside this image view maximize, and then we also need to have the on-click listener for the image view close. So we can say set on-click listener, and then we have new on-click. this net but i uh, as i already have told you that we will write the code at the in the end in the end okay but before that we now need to uh, play the video so in order to play the video first of all we now need to play so here we can say play video okay and then and uh, now here we can write the code public void play video and then here inside this we now can say string player info equal to util dot get you user agent then we can pass this and we can pass video player and similarly we can say data source factory equal to new default data source factory and then we can pass this and player info then we can write media source media source equal to new extractor media source and then we can pass our video uri then we can pass the data source factory then we can pass the extractors factory and when we can pass null for the listeners okay so before that let's just write it here after we have the media source and then we can simply say player player view dot set player and we can say exo player then we can say player player view dot prepare sorry as a player dot prepare and then we can pass in the media source to prepare and then we can simply say player view dot set play when Exo player dot set play when ready and we need to mark it as true and also let's just add the try and catch block all right and let's just cut it and paste it here all i guess our uh, uh, i think our coding is now complete and if we want to okay so we have some other thing which we have to do so we need to specify the service so here we can write service here and then okay so now we need to have we need to initialize the amp floating widget okay so view we need to initialize the view so in order to initialize the view so here we can say init initialize view and for the view or uh, we can say public void initialize view and okay so here we can say am floating widget dot find view by id and we can say r dot id dot relative layout pop up and we need to set the relative layout so for that we can open our custom and here we can write the id as relative layout pop up okay so this one will be the id and we need to just replace it dot find view by id and we can say set on touch listener and we can say new on touch listener and there we have the on touch method so we need to have some variables 
it's because we want to drag it okay so we want to drag the view so for this we can say private int initial x then we have private int initial y and here it's saying that okay not allowed here so we remove the private from there we have the initial uh, initial x and initial y then we have float initial touch x and float initial touch y or we can simply just cut it and uh, write in single line similarly for the initial touch x or y so we have it inside our single line okay so now inside our on touch method here okay so here we cut it and paste it okay so we have it here like here let's say if i want to have private yes it's now private private and uh, now inside our own touch so we need to have the switch command and here we can write event dot get action okay so it will uh, it will tell us the action so we here are some cases so the first case is question motion event dot action down and for the action down we can say initial x equal to okay so i think we don't uh, need to use this initialize view we can just cut it remove the initialize view and just write the code here okay and here because we need to have the params object here so for the layout params so we can say params dot x similarly for the initial y we can say params dot y okay and for the initial touch x and it will be equal to event dot get raw x for the initial touch y equal to event dot get raw y and then we will have the return true for it then we will have another okay so we will have another case it will be motion event dot action up and for the action up we just can say return true then we will have case motion event dot action move and for the action move we can have params dot x equal to initialize x plus int and then we can say event dot get raw x minus initial touch x and for the params dot y it will be equal to initialize initial y plus int event dot get raw y minus initial touch y and then we can say m window manager dot update view layout and then we can have m floating widget and params okay and then we can say return true 
all right so now that is the code but i think we i did not use the initial y initial touch y okay so that was the mistake initial touch y okay so now i think our application uh, i mean we have completed so let's try to run the app and let's see if it works so let me open the samsung flow okay so now our application our phone is connected and let's try it to okay so now we have some other things which we need to do and we need to use the permission uh, system alert window so in order to use the permission so for that we can say use this permission system alert window so let's now try to run the app and let's see I hope that uh, it works so we have to see if it works or not okay so now our application is uh, running so let's try to run and have this project okay and if i click on this so you can see the app has crashed so let's see where it has crashed service not registered yes because it's for the user permission yes you can see permission denied all right so we cannot add the view because we have to give the permission so in order to okay so now we need to add the runtime permission for the system alert so for this let's go to our main activity because we need to add the user permission there and here we can write uh, sorry it's not our project so this is uh, our project and we go to our main activity and yes here we have the permission so we can say ask permission <coughs> so here we can have public void ask permission <coughs> and 
and here we need to check if build dot version dot sdk int is greater than equal to build dot version codes dot m and settings dot can draw overlays it's empty then we can need to ask the permission so for this we can say uh, we need to ask for the user permission so for this we can need to have intent and we can say equal to new intent and then we can say settings dot action manage overlay permission and then we need to pass in our package name so for this we can say uri dot parse and then we can write package then we can say get package name and then finally we can say start activity for result there we can pass our intent and then we can pass any of this value all right so now we run our application and now it will ask us for the user permission So yes, now our application is open and there you can see it is asking for our allow permission. So we need to enable this permission then we need to go back and if we click on this and let's try to play this and there you can see we okay so now we need to release the background uh, exo player otherwise it will not work okay so before we start the activity or the before we start the service we need to uh, release the exo player so let me see where we are yes here so first of all let's just say exo player dot set play when ready false and then exo player dot release all right so now let's try to run our app again let's just go back remove it from the permission also just let's just close it okay so i think it will work now okay so now our application uh, is running and if i click on let's say this and if i click on here so still we are not able to play the video so let me see where is the issue but we are able to display the dialog okay so we have displayed the exo player here so let me okay we will do that in our next part of the video so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye